you are just joining us with me in the studio is uh, introduce yourselves. Uh, my name is Barista Usene Saraki. I'm the co-founder of Good Governance Initiative Coalition and um, I am the leader of this uh, rally that is taking place today in Abuja. In respect of uh, showing our solidarity and support to Mr. President as he uh, put efforts to fight corruption in our country, Nigeria. And you? Uh, my name is Barista Dr. Shamsuddin Magaji. Uh, I have a doctorate degree in law with specialization in corporate governance. I'm a legal practitioner and at the same time the Secretary of Good Governance Initiative Coalition of Nigeria, a non-governmental organization which sets to fight corruption in Nigeria. What about you? Uh, my name is uh, Barista M. I. Osman. I'm also part of uh, this Good Governance Coalition for Justice. We are here in Abuja to show our solidarity and to support Mr. President on his fight against corruption. And next to you, I'm Barista Hassan Saraki. I'm also a member of Good Governance Initiative Coalition. To be precise, I'm the director of training. Uh, we are here in the capital territory city in order to show our solidarity to Mr. President over his anti-corruption process. And that is why we are here. Uh, Good Governance Initiative Coalition uh, was formed basically since 2007 and we had been advocating for good governance not just in Nigeria, um, we've been advocating for good governance even in the continent of Pop Africa. I can remember vividly I was part of the people that uh, went to the United States of America on the request of President Obama in respect of uh, issues of leadership. So we felt we are stakeholders when it comes to provision of good leadership. And we find out that there is no country that can progress without adequately taking care of the issue of corruption, wiping out corruption. And uh, we felt that it is important now, since this thing now is over, the media is everywhere, it has become the talk of the country, the issue of suspension of the CJN. We felt it is important uh, as a group to come with like minds, to express our views regarding this issue, and to actually identify ourselves with Mr. President. Because um, we believe that if Mr. President is wrong, we have a duty not just for ourselves but for the children yet on board to tell him the truth but as far as this saga is concerned this issue is concerned it is our belief that uh, we are here to support mr president's effort to fight on corruption and we felt mr president is on the right track and this is one of the things that inform our resolve to come from different parts of this country different places different states as you can see when we met in the unity fountain and uh, to express to the whole world not just nigeria that uh, we are here to support Mr. President on the issue of fighting corruption. And we believe that when it comes to the issue of corruption, nobody is above the law. Nobody is above the law. You can see many governors, you know, have been charged with the issue of corruption. And uh, there is allegation that even some of, I, on the last time I saw in the media, even former President of Obasanjo was being called to answer some questions in respect, in respect of some corruption charges. So it's giving us a good name. We have to try as much as possible to show to the international community, to show to everybody that Nigeria is changing. Whether you like it or not, you will be able to appreciate the fact that Nigeria, the narrative is changing. Because um, the last time I was seen in the media is that, in a, an, a, I think NTO or AIT, somebody, uh, um, a particular woman forgot her luggage. Is it back or something containing valuables and money? And somebody took it back. I reported that, ah, this woman I forgot. This is a kind of narrative we need to be seen. This is the kind of things that we need, the kind of changes that we need to be seen. So this is one of the things that inform our resolve to now identify ourselves because as future generation, we have to stand firmly to support good governance. And there is no country that can progress without adequately tackling the issue of corruption. Thank you very much. Uh, my next question to you, Barrister. Uh, I noticed that your composition are all of lawyers, barristers. Has it, yes, uh, so I mean the composition of lawyer, 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 lawyers, yes. you know, fronting this advocacy for the fight against corruption. Yes. It's a good thing, but has it in any way 
or is it going in any way affect your professions since you have a body, uh, the NGJC, the NBA, NBA. and all that? Uh, yeah. Don't you think it's going to limit your reach, your advocacy? Yeah. You know, when it comes to the power of your words and action, reaching out to these people, has it in any way, is it in any way going to affect your morale yes. as the young ones in them? Uh, well, you see, this is why we are lawyers. As far as we are concerned, whatever you are going to say, it has to do, be within the purview of the Constitution. As guru of lawyers, as MBE, there is no way MBA will envelop us from saying the truth. There is no organization that can obfuscate me as a Nigerian whose right has been guaranteed under the Constitution. There is no Constitution that is above the, con uh, the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has given me the right to voice out my idea, what I believe. And as far as I'm concerned, even in the Constitution of the NBA, there is no way, so long as I am not speaking on behalf of the NBA, I am talking as Barrister Hussein Saraki, who has an organization, a coalition that has been registered. I have the right to say what I can defend. As far as I'm concerned, this is the, the, the reality of things that are happening in the country. And as lawyers, we cannot remain passive. We cannot remain aloof to see that things are degenerating and without contributing. If you go to um, 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 the developed countries, things like this are actually sponsored by lawyers. Things that has to do with issue of fighting corruption, things that has to do with injustice, things that has to do with, you know, lawyers have to come out and say the truth. Because if you can remember, in 2014, 2013, and, and during the last administration, we have found a situation whereby not just billion, trillion, Money in billions and have been squandered. If you can remember during this issue of Boko Haram as far back as 2014, there was allegation that billions of nerds were, were, were shared amongst the politicians. You understand what I'm saying? And while a lot of young Nigerians are dying, not just young Nigerians, children, and nobody is saying anything. But with the coming of this administration, though I tell you that I am not an APC member, I am not a card carrying member of the APC. I am a Nigerian. I am a card carrying member of Nigeria. Invariably, I mean, I am a citizen of Nigeria. And I have a duty, as far as I'm concerned, to say the truth as it is. So during that period of time, a lot of things were happening. You can see that siphoning of money, everything has become a broad daylight. This one will say, no, I didn't give him 3 billion, I give him only 1.5 billion, and nobody is saying anything. So there is a kind of effort by Mr. President to tackle corruption. And I will, I, it is very clear to all of us that to some extent now, even though we can't say that there is no corruption in Nigeria entirely, but you cannot do it openly. You cannot do it openly because Buhari, that is the Mr. President, cannot wipe corruption in void. It is not possible. He can only do his best to mitigate it. For example, let me give you a clear example. When I was in there, was a time I was coming back from the U.S. in the Washington uh, Dulles Airport. I met this Chinese uh, woman. She was telling me, she said, oh my God, you are from Nigeria? Oh, my Nigeria is so bad, so bad. I say, what happened? She said that she was there was a time she was coming back from Edo, and when she came to the airport, she wasn't late, but deliberately the airport authorities and securities delayed her so that she had to give them bribe. And in the process, she had to give them about 50,000 naira bribe before they allow her to go into the airport. But what she told me, she said, now that I had that, the president you have elected is a man of integrity. The only thing that you can you should do in this country is to fight corruption. And look at it now, Buhari is fighting corruption. Mm. So we can say, even in the international forum, international outlook, yeah. he is giving us a good image. <laughs>